Right, got one in the shed, on the table, ready to assemble. I shall unbox it, see what happens, eh? Well, that wasn't expected. Um, looks like it's come all complete. And all you have to do is add the cells. It looks pr pretty pre-assembled, which saves a lot of bother. And, you know, it's going to be real easy to put together. You've got your bits here. Put your screws for your posts. You've got some quality bus bars, some uh, flexible. See, nice and flexible, them bus bars. And your cables. All right, to put it together, you have to um, take all the screws off the front to release the BMS and the front plate. But that's all in one, that's all put together for you. So it's all one piece there. There we go, front plate, and then put the insulation in, and then put the cells in. See, now we have a blank box where the cells can go. And uh, the next step is putting in the insulation. Here we go. Nicely done. Right, yeah, put these in now. They go into there. These are the cells and basin. 280 amp out. Very good cells. Right, I've got to put them in a way so the negative ends up on this side and the positive ends up on that side. So I'll just work that out. And there it is. With uh, all your things on there, the um, insulation. That'll be your main positive, your main negative. You put the bus bars on. And then a link in between. Yeah. Between them, we can put them or screws in. <coughs> okay, they're done up. The next bit, I'm going to put the balance bars on <coughs> before I put these on because once you connect all them up, they're live and it becomes a very dangerous battery. Okay, right. Talked, wrench these up to eight newton meters. <clears throat> okay, look, these are on now, and this is how neat these are. We've got um, B minus lead, starts there, obviously goes with that one, and then We've got the B, uh, <coughs> B1, 2, 3, 4, and so on and so forth. And then uh, until you end on the positive, the B plus. So, yeah, that's all nice and neat. Lovely. I've trapped one under here, so I've got to undo it again. Oh no, I haven't trapped one. <laughs> cool. Lovely. So now I'm going to put the bus bars on and torque them down to six newton meters. Okay, come in positive and negative, and we're all bus barred up. I've got to tighten them down to six newton meters. <clears throat> when you put your um, bus bars on. You need to put these on as well when you're putting the leads on. So they correspond with each one. I mean, see how you put them. It doesn't matter either one of these. <coughs> and then put a nut on the top. and then tighten them down anyway okay that's all ready to be torqued down now 
got them all on, all the balance leads. But before we, once we've done that, we connect these two. I get a multimeter and I check that it goes. So it goes 3.2 all the way up to 16 S, which is about 51.2 volts. So that goes from 3.2 to the 51.2 in a line. That way, you know, you've got it right and nothing's wrong. Oh. 52.8 and then uh, yeah I'm gonna have to do the balance leads to so make sure they all marry up correctly it's all good so the next step is to put the BMS front plate on Let's connect all the little things up they're all pretty, uh, they're all pretty self-explanatory. <coughs> You've got these little, uh, things that things clip into. You just click your balance leads into this one down here, I'm guessing. And then you connect your positive and your negative. Okay, so I clip that in down there, like I said, and then all that's left to do is put these screws back in and the side plate around there, and then put a positive and negative lead on. And then I'm guessing you've got this wire here, that's the main positive, you put them together at the end, turn the actual battery on. Okay, all there, all talked, all done. So I'm guessing we have a. Right, turn it on, see if it works. Eee! <laughs> there we go, it comes on. Thought it was going up, yep. Yeah. Yeah, um, in here also there are four um, temperature leads that you put, get some heat proof tape, put them on the cells. So I normally have mine on the, the terminals, positive and negative. And then I'll probably poke some one down in the bottom, put one at the back. So yeah, <clears throat> I am gonna, uh, personally take this one apart and move it to where I want it and build it there because this weighs a lot it's uh it's roughly 20 stone it's 120 kilos done with all the cells it's a heavy thing but yeah it's uh it's really good quality I've uh I'm very 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 impressed it's uh, surpassed the expectations I thought it would be because uh I've had surplus ones. Um, this is totally different. This is the quality of this compared to a surplus is, is, you know, so much better, more solid. Um, don't get me wrong, surplus is fantastic, um, but this is the same price. Um, it's a professional battery, hardly a DIY battery. Anyway. I hope that helped anybody that's gonna thinking about building one. That's the only reason I did it. <laughs> um, yeah, cool. See you later.